someone you don't recognize here, or I don't know if it was one of you guys or not, but somebody had one um, of this type that said, like the sine of the inverse tangent of the square root of 2 over 2. Well, the square root of 2 over 2 we recognize as something related to sine and cosine, but not tangent. So if it's a number you don't recognize related to the inverse function you see, then make a triangle. Do you guys want me to make a triangle for either, both, either or both? Which one? Okay, let's go for both. Both? Okay. We'll just start with the first one. So, here's my triangle. This is going to be the angle, theta, that qualifies as having the inverse cosine of 5 over 13. So that means if I take the cosine of that angle, I'm going to get 5 thirteenths. What does that mean in terms of sides of this triangle? What do I do with the 5 and the 13? 5 is adjacent. 13 is hypotenuse. Now, in order to answer what the sine of this is, this angle is, I will need the opposite side. So we'll call it x. So I'll have x squared plus 5 squared equals 13 squared. So x squared plus 25 equals 169. That gives me x squared equals 144. So what can you tell me about x? It equals plus or minus 12. But since we're dealing with a triangle, what do you know? Length is positive. So this must be 12. So then what will be the sine of the cosine inverse of 5, 12, 5, excuse me, 13 It'll be 12 over what? 12 over 13. So far so good. All right, let's do the same thing, but now for the other piece. Tangent of the sine inverse. So the tangent of the sine inverse of, what's this one, three fifths? So here's my triangle. So if this is the angle whose that comes out as the sine inverse of 3 fifths. What does that mean about the 3 and the 5? They're opposite over hypotenuse. So there's my 3 and my 5. Now I need to find this side. I would like to point out that I've already used x in calculations in this problem. So I should not call this side x. What should I call it? C? Okay. Anything else? X, Y, just not X. Oh, and not theta. So technically, I probably shouldn't call this angle theta either. I should call it, you know, like alpha. You like A better? She likes A better. Okay. So then I'll have A squared plus 3 squared equals 5 squared. That means A squared plus 9 is 25. So A squared equals 16. That means A equals plus or minus 4, but we're dealing with a triangle, so what can you tell me? Length is positive. So this side is positive 4, so the tangent of the sine inverse of 3 fifths is going to be what? 3 over 4. What? Relations? Yeah. Space or something? Yeah. 